Oh, nope, not in Chris's quiz. Chris's oh quiz. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to Chris. Film quiz. So I found this website. I don't think there'll be a website. Well, I've already print screened it, so I'll incorporate that. Yeah. But it's the pub quiz site. And it looks like such a dodgy fake website, but we're going with it. Yes, sir. Do you have a board to write on? Like a bag. Right, we're gonna start the quiz. And this is Kathleen's go. Round one. Question one. Kathleen, who provided the voice over for Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy? Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> You've got that wrong. I don't know. It's not an answer. What? Did you just Google that? No. You have answered David Proud. Oh, don't tell me. Hey. Oh wait, do I have to tell you whether that was correct? I might as well if you know it. Eh? Oh, have I you answered you at the time? end? Do you? I don't know, that's what quizzes usually do. Ah, uh, I'm surprised you know David Prowse, huh? In yeah, my very patronising tone. Ooh, you answered David Prowse. Which I was impressed if he's because the one he's, he's in it. He's the body. See, I knew there was two. Yes, but it's wrong. Yeah. You don't even get a hat. Give me that pen. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is... Unfortunately, Kathleen, incorrect. Oh, of course. Question two. In the film, The Silence of the Lambs, which actor plays the part of Hannibal Lecter? Oh, I know this, but I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, I remember. We know it's a he. Is that spell it? I don't know, I can't say. I don't know who that is. Mm. Anthony Hopkins, she put. You answered Anthony Hopkins. Oh, what? Yeah, good. but it's the tense. Oh. It's the tense where it's like... <laughs> Yes. You gotta have that sort of thing. You can't peek. You answered An Anthony Hopkins, which is correct. Question three. Kathleen, who directed the movie Jaws, Schindler's List, and oh, Jurassic Park? Oh, no, I don't know how you spell his name. Well, it's a vital part of this process. No, it isn't. I don't Guess. know if it's Guess. Guess. So she put Steven Spielberg. <laughs> you, you answered Steven. What? Heilberg. And the correct answer, unfortunately for you, is Steve Hen. I knew you would do that. I'm so right. I'll give you a half point. No, no, give me, give me a half No, no, point. this is free. You can't have an easy round and get away with I mistakes like this. Spell. You can't have an easy round and get away with mistakes like this. We've got to, we've got to up the ante at some point, so I've given you a half. Number four, Kathleen. Which actor? Plays Marty McFly in the Back to the Future series oh, of movies. I should have survived. I can't remember his name. Michael. <laughs> J question mark. You put Michael J <laughs> Fox. I'm afraid the correct answer <laughs> is Michael J Fox. <laughs> Not J. Number five. In which film did two high school students travel through time in a telephone box? Ah, but there's two of them filmed. Which one is it? <laughs> she has put Bill and Ted two or one. Is it two? You have to no you have to select. She selected Bill and Ted Bogus Journey. It's wrong, is it? Number six. <laughs> yes, it's wrong. For the fact that you knew it was Bill and Ted, having not seen Bill and Ted, any either of them, I'll give you a half point. And number six. Who starred as the Joker? in the 1989 film Batman. Is that right? She has answered Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, which is correct. Yay! Number seven in the movie, <laughs> Wayne's World. What was the name of Wayne's sidekick? I don't know this one. Oh, I've seen it. Um, Bob. <laughs> well, I think that's wrong. You put Bob. <laughs> The correct answer, unfortunately, is Scar. Mm. Number eight. Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, and Lucy Liu starred together in which action film? It she answered Charlie's Angels. Yeah, yeah, it was Charlie's Angels. Uh, number nine. Which 1996 
animated film featured basketball player Michael Jordan oh, I know. starring Bella. alongside Bugs and Bunny. <laughs> she has answered Space Japan. No, that is Space Jam. Space Jam. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a number 10, Kathleen. The final question in round one. With which film would you associate the name Tyler Durden? Oh! She answered Fight Club. Yeah. And number 10 was indeed Fight Club. Uh, <laughs> so you will just be, it'll just be like, for the edit, like, oh. No, that's funny. Just, yeah, I'll, I will cut it out. So on that, Kathleen, you scored seven I out of ten. I got more. I got nine out of ten. I was actually quite surprised that you got seven out of ten on an easy difficulty film round. Now it's my turn. Okay, this is still easy for me. Which film featured the Step of Marshmallow Man? Ghostbusters. In the down scene. Yeah, yeah you are right. Yes, I am. Of course. Number two. In the film The Mask, which actress starred alongside Jim Carrey? <laughs> you don't know? I know. I haven't seen The Mask. Huh? Diane Keaton. That's right, you're on today. Who was? Not Diane Keaton. <laughs> oh, no. Tom Diaz. That's obviously where I got the Diaz. Maybe. <laughs> In the James Bond series. Oh, this obviously I'm going to get this. The character's Q's name stands for what? Quartermaster. I have to write it down, but yes, that's right. Of course, it's right. It was James Bond. Okay. Who Come played on. Catwoman in the 1992 film Batman Returns? You don't know her name, do you? I do, but I've totally forgot it. Oh, that happened to me. Okay. Yeah, well, we're going to wait it. until I remember. Do you want a clue? Okay. She's also in Scarface. I know she is, but I don't remember <laughs> her name. Not Diane She's Keaton. also in Grease. Why are you obsessed with that? No, I mean... I don't know. I really can't think of For some reason. Mich Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, but you have to spell it now. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know how to... Oh, I, I can't give you the point. You can give me a half point. A half point. Is that not half? Because you didn't give me Steven Spielberg. Five. Okay. In which Rocky film... I haven't seen the first one. Did Mr. T appear as Clubber Lang? No, it's either one, uh, two, three, or four. No, don't get it. Write it I'm down. I'm say either three or four. Write it down. I'm gonna just go with my instincts and go with three. Yay! You got it right. Of course I did. Steve, thing. Who's Directorial, how do you say it? Directorial mm -hmm. debut. Yeah, was with Reservoir Dogs. Obviously. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Quentin Tarantino. I can spell it. Everybody knows how to spell it. <laughs> I can't spell. Yes, you're right. Of course I am. Uh, <laughs> which actor played the part of Dr. Evil in the film Austin Powers? It's the same guy who played the other Austin Powers. Shrek guy, I forgot his name. It's like a really ugly name. Is it? Isn't it? Michael Myers, that's it. <laughs> He's a serial killer. <laughs> Myers. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Mike Myers. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Myers? Yeah. You're not called what? Michael. No, Mike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not called Michael? He's just Mike He's Myers. Mike. Well, he might have been born Michael, but changed it to Mike because he doesn't want to be a serial killer. Who refused an Academy Award for his role in The Godfather? You need to make clues. I do know his name, it's just not one that I usually talk about. Why? No, oh. I don't. Look, and you can't do this, you don't oh, need help. Oh, he's in a popular smell. Branson. Marlon was... Branson. No. Marlon Branson. You have to write it down, you're on. Right, let me at least. Is it Marlon? You can't look at me, you have to write it down. I think I'm way off now. Yeah, because Marlon Branson. 
I would think it was gonna say Marlon Brando. So you don't get any points because you spelled Marlon wrong. <laughs> okay. Which fictional character has been played by Gene Hackman, John Shee, Kevin Spacey, and various other characters? I mean actors. What? Like Macbeth or anything? Write it down. I'm just gonna go to Shakespeare. <laughs> what? No, I was wrong anyway. It's Lex Luthor. <laughs> I didn't think of Kevin Spacey because nobody thinks of him. I, Lex Luthor is Gene Hackman, why didn't I think of that? I am embarrassed, especially since I did a review on Superman, which you can find right here. Stop, please. Okay. Anyway, last question. Who has appeared in more Alfred Hitchcock films than anyone else? Harry Grant. That's right down the final one, please. Stop looking Either at me. Either him or the other one. Wrong! Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Stupid trick question. Now let's add up your final score. Shut up. One, two, three, four, five, six out of ten. Oh, we beat you. You had an easy question. Yeah, it's still round. It's still classed as an easy round. And I think I knew some of them the easy ones. Okay, maybe not. Should we do best out of twenty? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh no. We'll see how it goes. Well, yeah, we'll just play them out. Okay.